Hi, I'm Britta from Trailer Chicks, and today we're out at Island Cove on Sovies Island, just outside of Portland. And I'm going to show you how to make great grilled pizza. We're using a gas grill today. It's an O grill. It's really great because it can fold up perfect traveling grill. You can also use a charcoal grill, but today we'll just be using the gas. And I'm going to show you technique and some great topping ideas and see how delicious and easy it is to make pizza on your grill. There's a few ways you can do this. You can make your own dough. It's very simple to make your own dough. And you could make a lot and freeze it and then take it out when you want to use it. Or you can often buy it at many stores offer it um, already re ready to go. And it's usually in one pound um, packages. And depending on the size of your grill, that's going to decide how much dough you want to use. So this grill's kind of small, so I'm just going to use half of the dough. And I have a board here with polenta on it which is just coarse ground corn. It's going to make it easier to pull the dough out. It's also going to add a crispy um, texture when you get it on the grill. So I'm going to um, take this handy pizza cutter and just cut it right in half. You want to make sure the pizza dough sits out for about an hour outside of the refrigerator because that'll let it relax. So we're just going to pull this dough. Just want to make sure that the dough is getting evenly distributed and the, corn the uh, edges are going to be a little bit thicker. For your crust. Now that I've pulled the dough out to a nice um, thin crust, I am going to place it on my grill that I've preheated. You want to preheat it on high and then turn it down to about medium right before you put the dough on the grill and I'm just going to put it directly on the grill. So just once you lay it down it's pretty much where it's going to go. And then we're going to just close it in about three minutes. It should have a nice uh, golden brown on the bottom. So when I took the dough off of the grill you, j you just want to make sure that you put the grilled side up because that's already cooked and you're gonna we're gonna put our toppings on top of that and then put it back on the uncooked side down on the grill. So for this one I'm going to start with a little bit of olive oil just drizzle it on and then you can just quickly use a brush to brush that over the pizza and I have some grated mozzarella here. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to layer it with some uh, Italian sausage that I've already cooked off. Because this cooks so quickly, you want to use cooked meats on it. Because um, really it'll just heat them up, heat them through, it won't cook them from raw. And then I have sautéed some beautiful kale that was grown on this island. And I just sautéed that in a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just going to put that on top. Get your greens while you eat pizza. It's perfect. And I'm just, I'll finish it off with some grated parmesan. This would be great with some fresh chilies too. Or red pepper if you have that. And then with the grill is turned down to low and I'm going to just pick this up and put it back on. And we'll just wait for all that cheese to melt and you want to close the grill while it's cooking so it'll kind of be like a little oven. And that should take about, depending on your grill, maybe three to seven minutes. I like to bring a traveling herb garden with me because sometimes it's hard to find fresh herbs and it's such an easy way to add so much flavor to your food. So here, not only do I have herbs, but I also have a few little lettuces. Um, we have some chives, rosemary, a couple different rosemary plants, um, thyme, and then I have kind of an unusual herb, and that is uh, spicy bush basil, which is, they're really tiny leaves, but they pack a lot of flavor. It's been about five minutes, so I'm gonna check on the pizza. Oh, it looks like it is about ready. It's bubbling and um, the cheese is all melted. And I'm going to check the crust on the bottom. Looks nicely browned. Pizza on the grill is a little rustic, not only in shape, but it's going to, the heat's not totally even, so you're going to get some little charred spots. But that's what makes it taste so great. It's got that smoky flavor. And this is where my herbs come in. I'm just going to finish this pizza. I'm going to choose rosemary. I think it would go really nice with the Italian sausage and the greens. And I'm just pinching little pieces on here, sprinkling them on. 
I'm just going to cut this up in a few slices. Remember, pizza is a great thing the day after, especially on the road. So make a lot and have it for leftovers. Thanks again for joining us. For all of these recipes and more, check us out online.